Welcome to Meditation Monday. My name is Christina and I'll be guiding you through your meditation today. Go ahead and find some place comfortable to sit or to lie down. Take a few breaths here, breathing in and exhaling out. Being present with the breath. As you inhale, inhale some restoration for your mind, body, and soul. And then gently exhale out any um, personal expectations you may have for yourself or any stress, fear, doubts, and anxiety you might be holding on to. I'm going to read from Ephesians 4, 1 today so may your ears be open to hear and your heart be available to feel the words this is Paul writing a letter therefore I a prisoner for serving the Lord beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling for you have been called by God always be humble and gentle be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because you love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body and one Spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. You start to think about Paul writing this and writing these letters and thinking about being a prisoner. We are all prisoners somewhere. Think about prisoners cannot pursue their own will. Think about a place or a space in your heart or in your mind or in your life that you feel like you're a prisoner. You have no will of your own. Start to hand that over to God today. Start to breathe in humble and gentle thoughts into your heart. And give yourself permission to be patient. Paul also speaks about our calling, ordained by God. He also speaks of our conduct, to be humble and gentle. Both need to be together to find balance. Sometimes we're always humble and gentle, but not listening to our calling by God. Sometimes we're just running and running and doing our calling. But yes, we trample over everybody in the pathway. So there is balance between our calling and our conduct. And this is where it says, Make every effort to keep yourselves united with the Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. Therefore, there is one body and one spirit. Take some time to resonate with these words, with this passage. Start to think about the things that you can lay at the cross today. There's another take on the word calling. God calls us. He calls us to salvation, not just in salvation, but in union to the body. So the challenge is in life is to stand firm, to stand firm in one spirit. So therefore we can bear fruit and grow. Take a moment and recognize the places in your life where you're standing steadfast.
take a few breaths to recognize where you're bearing fruit and you're growing. And then come back to Ephesians 4.1. Therefore, I am a prisoner for serving the Lord. I beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling. For you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other. Making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit. Binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body and one Spirit just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. Friends, I invite you to a little bit more quiet here. Take some time to think about these words in your life. Start to let all the stresses of the, of the day just melt around you. Connecting with the breath of God. Seek his presence with the breath and if you are unaware of your calling today take some time to meditate on that connection with God asking him to show you what am I called to allow your ears to be open to hear and allow your thoughts to flow gently through your mind as you recognize your breath of life filling your body. I leave you here today to your time in stillness. Father, we just thank you for your beautiful words and your direction. We thank you for this letter from Paul. Fill us with your spirit today. Show us who we need to be and how to be. Empower us to not let the stressors of this world bind us up and imprison us. But Lord, we seek your freedom and your love in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.